curious, how's it going? Um, we are going to just pick up where we left off, and you guys should be all set um, to face any of these types of problems when you're done. So yesterday what we looked at was uh, up to number 16, I believe, okay? So today we're going to go over the next four, and then you guys will take the last four on, uh, maybe not the last four, maybe just two by yourself, okay? Um, essentially what's going to happen with these is you're not just going to have to multiply one equation. You're going to have to multiply both equations, okay? So here, if we take a look at it, uh, short of multiplying by decimals and fractions, there's no way, there's no integer to multiply negative 4 by to make it negative, to make it positive 7, to make the opposite of this number. Nor is there a way to do it this way, to multiply negative 8 for it to become uh, negative 9. Right. I mean, there is, but you don't want to multiply by fractions, right? Like that's everybody's general MO is to avoid fractions at any cost, right? So um, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to have to multiply both of these. Okay, so we need to make a positive and negative version of the same number. So let's get rid of this question number for a second. Um, you have your choices here. Um, you could think about, hey, what's a number that 7 and 4 both go into? Well, 28, right? So if I can make this positive 28 and negative 28, um, that would probably work. Um, here, uh, 8 and 9, well, we could, you know, use 72, make positive 72 and negative 72. Um, so not always, um, but usually the case, you know, if you want a shortcut, you're multiplying these by the, by the opposite. So I'll multiply this one by 4 and this one by negative 7. Um, and that will go ahead and, and give you what you need, a positive and negative version of the same number. Um, but if you think about it, it's, it's almost like um, like uh, adding fractions um, and finding the least common denominator. Any common denominator will work, but the least common denominator would be the easiest way to go. So for this one, negative uh, 4 and negative 10, uh, the, number, the easiest number to use is uh, 20, even though 4 times 10 would make 40. So... Again, there's not just one answer. Um, there's many different ways to go about this. Bar none, though, essentially what you're looking for is to get the positive and negative version of the same number. So this is something we'll be doing over a few days. It's kind of the culmination of things. So we're going to go over a few more of these questions, and then we'll go over uh, how you're going to solve some kind of applications and things like that next week, okay? So for this one, in the meantime, I want to write... Here, okay. Let's go ahead and let's multiply this top one by positive 4 and this bottom one by negative 7. Why? Well, 4 times negative 7 will be negative 28x. And negative 7 times positive 4, or negative 7 times negative 4 will be positive 28x. So we'll have what we need, okay? So the only other thing you need to do is you need to multiply the rest of these terms as well. So negative 4 times, uh, 4 times negative 8 is going to be negative 32y, and 4 times 9 is going to be 36. On the other side, negative 7 times 9 is negative 63y, and negative 2 times negative 7 is going to be 14, 14, oh, why, why, why are you trying to do this? It's too early in the morning. Uh, 22 times 7 is going to be 154, okay? So this will be 154, right? It's negative times negative, okay? So again, let's say these together now. Now that we got what we want, okay? So again, all we're doing is the same thing as yesterday. We're just going to have to multiply both equations. So these are going to cancel. Negative 32 and uh, negative 63 is going to be negative 99y. And uh, I'm oh, sorry, Jesus. Sorry, guys. Negative 95y. So that's, that's kind of day it's going to be, huh? And 36 and 154 is going to be uh, 0, carry the 1, 190. Okay? Again, don't let the numbers throw you off. We're going to divide both sides by negative 95 and find out that y is equal to negative 2. Again, use a calculator if you have to, guys. No, no shame here, okay? And now, 
par for the course. We have Y, let's get X. Uh, I'm gonna plug back into the first one. Doesn't matter, okay? So I'm gonna say negative seven X minus eight times negative two is equal to nine. Negative seven X plus 16 is equal to nine. Subtract 16. Negative seven X is equal to negative seven, which means that X is equal to one, okay? So go ahead and express your answers as a coordinate, okay? So again, once we've gotten Y, everything else, or gotten X, uh, everything else is still the same, okay? So, so nothing's changed there. So the, the only real big change that we're working with today is, hey, we need to find a common thing to eliminate. So we're going to have to multiply both of the equations by something. Okay. All right. So take a second, think about number 18. What do you want to do? Um, I would say probably multiply this one by negative, uh, by this one by three and this one by negative five. Um, or you could have done this one by nine and this one by, uh, by four, right? Um, so again, there's not just one way to do this, but I, I'm going to pick the most straightforward way. Um, sometimes there'll be numbers that are a little lending themselves a little bit more towards uh, solving these simpler. So I multiply this one by three because that will give me positive 15. And I multiply this one times negative five because that will give me a negative 15. You could have done negative three and positive five. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. Again, you guys are at the point of math where you get to kind of choose your own adventure. Um, so three times five X is going to be 15 X three times four is going to be 12 Y and three times negative 30 will be negative 90. Okay. Down here on the bottom, negative five times three is going to be negative 15 X. Um, negative 5 times negative 9 will be positive 45. And negative 5 times negative 8, uh, negative 18 will also will be positive 90. Okay? Um, don't let that scare you. So these are going to cancel out. And I'm going to get uh, 47y is equal to 0. Um, so this is actually inconsequential because y is equal to 0. Okay? So 47 times what number makes 0? M0. Okay. Um, don't get thrown off if things add up to zero. That's that's actually okay. Okay. So we actually eliminated this. So y is equal to zero. Uh, so go, let's go ahead. Let's plug that back into one of these equations. I'm going to choose this first one. Um, so that's 5x plus 4 times zero is equal to negative 30. So 5x is equal to negative 30 divided by 5. x is equal to negative 6. Make sure you put your x's first and your y second, okay? Y is allowed to be zero. It's totally fine, totally acceptable answer, okay? All right, now for number 19. Where for the first two examples, I'll just leave that there. Um, for the first two examples, we just pretty much multiply by the opposite. Now, here, we don't necessarily need to do that. We don't need to make positive and negative 40 or positive and negative 14. Um, generally speaking, if we can keep the numbers a little bit smaller, that makes some of the computations a little bit easier. So what's the number that 4 and 10 both go into? And that's 20. Um, so how do I make four, negative 4 into 20? I'm going to multiply it times 5. And again, this one down here I need, so that will make that negative 20x minus 10y is equal to 70. Okay? And on the bottom, I'm going to multiply. I need to make a positive 20, so I multiply by negative 2. Negative 2 times 10, positive 20. Uh, negative 2 times 7 is going to be negative 14. And negative 2 times negative 25 is going to equal 50. Okay, so again, just what we wanted. Those are going to eliminate. We're going to get what? Negative 24y is equal to 120. And when we divide, y will equal negative, oops, negative 5. Sorry. y will equal negative 
five. Sorry about that. Okay. And we'll go ahead and let's plug that back in. This time I'll do the second one just for the sake of doing the second one. 2x plus 7 times negative 5 is equal to negative 25. Negative 10x minus 35 is equal to negative 25. We're going to add 35 on both sides. Again, that's just equation solving. Negative 10x equals 10, which means x equals negative 1. Let's go ahead. And let's write that out. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do 20 and then I will give you the numbers to multiply 21 and 22 by. And you guys can take it from there. Okay. So here, again, we have some nice numbers to work with here. Uh, I would say let's go ahead and. Let's get a positive and negative. Well, we did. Have we done y. Yeah. Let's let's get rid of the y's. Okay. So let's multiply this one by five. That will make this negative ten. And let's multiply this one by negative two. That will make that positive ten. Okay. So again, we're going to eliminate the y's this time. You could have eliminated the x's. It doesn't matter. Um, but what are we going to get? Fifteen x minus ten y is equal to 10 and uh, negative 10x plus 10y is equal to negative 20. So again, what do we get? We got we want a positive and negative version of the same number. Again, I chose y this time just because we haven't eliminated y yet. Um, so 15x plus negative 10 is going to be 5x. 10 minus 20 is going to be negative 10 divide by 5, we're going to find out that x is equal to negative 2. Again, you could plug back into actually any four of these, um, but let's plug into the second one. 5 times negative 2 minus 5y is equal to 10. Negative 10 minus 5y is equal to 10. We're going to add 10 plus 10. Negative 5y is equal to 20. y is equal to, oops, y is equal to negative 4, okay? So let's do negative 2, negative 4, okay? So just a little bit of work for you guys to do today, okay? Um, I'll give you guys for now the numbers to multiply by, and uh, you guys can take it from there, okay? Uh, so just do 21 and 22 by yourselves. Um, again, this one. Let's go ahead and let's multiply the top by negative 3 and the bottom by 5. And then this one, let's multiply the top by 5 and the bottom by 2. That will give us positive and negative 40. Okay? So give those a try on your own. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, and we'll get into some more complicated stuff uh, related to this next week. Okay? Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend.